On today's edition of Life After Sight Loss TV, we've got some tips on setting up your workspace. What's up VIPs, Derek here, back with another edition of Life After Sight Loss TV, where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So if that sounds good to you, consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. For many of us, we have a desk somewhere, a work station, if you will, where we do computer work or we pay bills or something like that. Maybe you're a student and you're going up to college or high school and you have a, a desk where you do a lot of things. It doesn't matter what the reason is, most of the time we're going to have a workstation or a workspace to do either computer work or homework or something like that. And so today I thought I'd give you a few tips on making the most out of your workstation. Now, in all transparency, this is actually my son's desk. This is not my desk. I don't use this normally, but I thought it was a good opportunity to make a video, especially since mine's pretty messy right now. But that being said, let's talk about the tips. First of all, this is a lamp. Now, it's very simple. We bought it at Walmart, but having good lighting at your workstation is really important. So maybe you have an overhead lamp, maybe you've got a, a desk lamp, whatever you've got, make sure you've got enough lighting for your workstation, especially if you have usable vision, because the more light you can get, the better. But remember, there's always a point where you can get just a little too much light. It's kind of like going out outside when there's a lot of sun, and it's like, wow, this is blinding. No pun intended. So you want to make sure you have enough lighting at your station. Secondly, you want to get things that help you stay organized. For example, this is just a little thing we bought at Walmart, and it holds pens and pencils. It's just for pens and pencils and maybe scissors. Oh, Oh, he does have scissors. Yeah, maybe for other random things. But you want to stay organized. And so that could be a pen and pencil holder. That could be a, a mail slot holder. That could be uh, things for odds and ends like, you know, paper clips and tacks and whatever else it might be. And maybe you want to get a couple of these because maybe one of them is just for pens. One of them is just for markers. And that way you know the difference. Staying organized is really important and things like this can help. And don't be afraid to be sort of, quote, over-organized because that way you'll know where everything is, especially when you're at your workstation, you can have a lot of little items. So staying organized, really important. The third tip is to keep your workstation clean. Keep the top of it nice and straight and clean. And so if you've got a computer or a laptop, or in this case, I've got my iPad set up, you know, that I can start working on. Whatever the case is, keep it cleaned. Now, my son actually has this uh, nice model of a, a Star Destroyer from Star Wars. Things like this, you can have on your desk. And it's, you know, maybe a, a nice little gesture. It gets you some personality. But for the most part, you want to keep it clean so you're not dealing with clutter. I don't know about you, but when I see a table full of clutter, it gives me anxiety because I don't know what anything is and I can't pick it out. So keeping it clean can make it really, really helpful. The next thing for your workstation isn't about the workstation so much, but it's just a, a, a thought, an idea. Maybe I'll talk about this in another video, but Think about going digital as much as possible. So often we get piles of paperwork and we've got to get the CCTV or a magnifier or take a picture with our phone and try to figure out what it all is. If you can go digital as much as possible, I think it helps clear off the workstation and make your work process a little simpler. Now again, that probably deserves a whole video in and of itself. So if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments below and I can talk a little more about going digital in this wonderful digital age. And finally, above all else, keep things simple. You don't want a bunch of junk on your workstation or a bunch of junk to deal with back and forth. Keep it simple. If you've got your tablet or your laptop or your computer, you obviously want that there, but you don't need a huge amount of other things. Get the things that are the bare minimum and have that at your workspace. That way when you need it, you can reach for it and it's there. But if you're not going to use it on a consistent basis, don't even worry about it and put it either somewhere else or maybe just maybe put it out because you don't really need it. So there's just a few tips on making the most out of your workspace, your workstation, your desk, whatever you want to call it. And it's really important to make the most out of it because we spend a lot of time with our digital products and sitting at a workstation and things like that. You want to make the most out of it anytime you can. So take these tips and others and make the most out of your workstation.
My question for you today is this, how do you make the most out of your workspace? Do you have lots of different things to organize? Do you only have what you need on the desk? What about your lighting? What about all those things? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody you know, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Life After Sight Loss TV. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one. On today's edition of Life After Sight Loss TV, we've got some tips, bloopers.